Well, I think it's, I don't think we know what the best practices are yet. I mean, I, I think it's going to really vary. I think sometimes giving the patients a list of food banks might might be enough. Um, in some cases, there's going to be a need for um, you know a, a, for for. A, um, a social worker or a, a patient navigator to help them navigate. You know, some patients aren't going to even be comfortable going to a food bank, so maybe they need someone from the clinic to help them think about how to do that. The one thing that I think is really important that we found in some of our, in our uh, earlier study is that um, when you're screening patients for social needs, it's important to ask them if they want you to intervene, the clinic, to, if, you, if they want intervention from the, from the care team. And that's a really important distinction, right? We found that only about 20% of the patients who had a you know, a, a positive screen for social need actually wanted the clinic to, to intervene in some way. So I, I would strongly recommend that, that that be considered best practice. Like don't just screen and then assume the patient wants some kind of intervention. Ask them if they want an intervention, right? That's, it's gonna make a big difference for the, for the healthcare team's um, burden, the work burden, the, wor the workflows involved. Um, and then, you know, you don't want patients getting calls from the clinic that they don't want, you know what I mean? Like someone might say, yeah, I'm housing insecure, but you know, I'm sleeping on my sister's couch and I'm, I'm good. I don't, I don't need you to, I don't need you to intervene. I'm, I've got it covered. Um, so that's, I think that's a practice that we, we need, I, that we really should be thinking about is, again, it's, you know, it's one thing to screen, but it's another to, to take action. You need to ask the patient what their preference is. Um, and I think the other answer to your question is we are trying to figure out what the best practices are. And we haven't had, um, again, we haven't had enough patient-reported um, data in, in searchable forms that we've been able to do the analyses to say, look, this thing looks like it works and this thing doesn't. We have evidence to show. Right, right now what everyone is doing is just kind of trying stuff out and seeing what sticks. But that's okay. But it's not, it's not what we need for the long term. We need to have data on patient report. We need to be looking at patient-reported social needs in conjunction with community level uh, social factors and and we need to be looking at which kinds of patients you know is it pediatric is it diabetes you know perinatal like which patients need what screening and what intervention to have some kind of outcome you know some kind of benefit to their to their health or to reducing utilization costs etc but you but you can't we can't do any of that until we do I, these analyses to figure out what the data shows and, and we haven't been able to do that because we haven't had the data so I'm, I'm hoping in the next few years that, that that's that that's going to change this field is changing rapidly so I'm, I'm hoping five or ten years from now we'll, we'll be much more clear